The ancient Egyptians believed that when they died, they would make a journey to a new world, a new life. In this new life, they would need certain things that they'd had in this life. Uh, but they needed their bodies, so their bodies had to be preserved. Mummies are the name that we call uh, the preserved bodies of the ancient Egyptians. And the process is called mummification. So uh, I'm going to mummify this tomato. Now the process in ancient times uh, was as follows. First of all, the body was washed and purified. So I've washed this. Organs were removed and only the heart remained. Then the body was filled with some sort of stuffing and the body was allowed to dry out uh, by covering it with a substance that the Egyptians called natron. The substance absorbed all the moisture from the body. After 40 or 50 days, the stuffing was removed and replaced with linen or sawdust. The body was wrapped in strands of linen and covered in a sheet called a shroud. The body then was placed, if the people were rich enough, in a stone coffin called a sarcophagus. So basically, I'm going to do the equivalent with this tomato. As it's a tomato, uh, much of the ritual isn't very necessary, uh, but I'm going to start by cutting open the tomato and removing the centre part of it. I'm going to start by making a slit in the side of the tomato. Now the ancient Egyptians removed all the internal organs apart from the heart. They left the heart in because they believed the heart was uh, the, the seat of intelligence and emotion within the human body. The rest of the inners they placed in things they call canopic jars and a canopic jar uh, would be placed within the tomb to re be reunited with the rest of the body in the afterlife. Instead of uh, anything else, I'm going to pack this tomato with natron. Natron is a combination of salt and bicarbonate soda. I'm going to press it in. So basically the whole of the tomato is now full with my natural mixture. Now I'm going to place an amount of the natron into my favourite mug here. I'll place the tomato carefully in the middle and pour the rest of the natron in over the top of it so that it covers it up. Right, making sure that everything's buried properly. And basically, there you have it. All I've got to do now is wait. Now, I said it was 40 to 50 days that the Egyptians would keep dead bodies like this, but in the case of the tomato, I'm going to keep it for a little bit longer. I'm going to mummify this for over a year and although it means I can't use my mug hopefully at the end of the year we will have quite an impressive mummified tomato or a mummified tomato skin because of course the innards have been removed. Okay now it's January 2021 so this has been sitting here in my favourite mug for about 15 months. So all I've got to do now is pour the salt out and see what's left. Mm. 
Okay, pouring the salt out might not be that easy. Let's see. This might take some time. After a bit of assistance by someone who actually knows what's going on, uh, we've broken up the outside and now I can pour it out. And here we have our embalmed tomato. So the combination of salt and baking powder that's made up our mixture here has sucked all of the water out of this over the 15 months it's been in here. And here it is. Here is our final mummified tomato. Listen. The skin of the tomato is really hard. Very dry, very wrinkled. So, there you have it. How to mummify a tomato.